This episode of Hack 5 is brought to you by Toyota. Hello, my name is Shannon Morris. I'm from Hack 5, coming to you from CES 2014. You can tell it's the end of the day because I'm starting to act a little bit wacky and I've had way too much chocolate today. I'm here with Thad. He's from Synology, which is one of my favorite, personal favorite, network attached storages. Hi Thad, how are you? I'm very well, Shannon. So glad to hear you're hyped up on chocolate. <laughs> out of this world. So tell me a little bit about your, your NASs, the ones that you have available right now. Oh, sure. So we have a very extensive product line. And in fact, people have been to our site will probably notice we have probably too many products. But we start out at a, a, a unit that runs at $160 and then we cap out at $7,000. Yeah, so we have a very dynamic range and it's the thing, I guess the thing that I could say is unique about that is that all of our products run the same operating system. So whether you're entering in at the $160 level or you know, up to the top of the line $7,000 model, it's the same operating system across the board. There's no learning curve. That's awesome. I love hearing that because it's always, well, well let's go ahead and back it up a bit. Sure. What is network attached storage for anybody that doesn't know? Certainly. So network attached storage is a class of storage that is accessible wherever you have a data connection. So unlike direct attached storage, which lives wherever your computer does uh, or is ostensibly uh, accessible from a local area network, our storage, our network attached storage in general, it, live, it lives with your router. And then from there, you know, you can be sitting in a Starbucks and accessing or updating your your photo library, <laughs> sharing it, tagging it, cataloging it, yeah, downloading your your entire music library or streaming video content, caching video content for later watching. I mean, it's it's a very dynamic class of storage, and in a sense, you know, all of our products are fundamentally servers. So, network attached storage is 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 a nice soft way of saying server without intimidating many, many people because it's not, it's not the same thing as using a server, for sure. It's like having your own personal cloud at your home, which you purchase, and then you don't have all those extra fees on top of it, which is wonderful. Exactly. Yes. But. I have to know a little bit about the security side of Synology. Okay. Well, that's a good question. Um, we do offer 256-bit AES encryption, and we also offer a full range of uh, user access privileges that you can control you know, manually. We also have a number of software packages that uh, handle uh, software firewalls in addition to the you know, hardware firewalls that we have. But as we are continually learning, sadly, every week, the NSA has access to any information that's being transmitted outside of your home, out of your local area network. So nothing is really secure anymore, even if it's 256-bit encryption. So I feel, I feel wonky saying that our product is fully secure because we now know that nothing is. But we Nothing try. is secure on the internet. And yes, yes, you're right, we do try. Yeah. So as a home user, as somebody who has you know, tons of photos and online video podcasts, what would you suggest that I would buy from Synology? Well, I would suggest uh, one of our expandable units. I, I like to sort of break our products down into two categories. We have fixed bay units, where the volume of storage is limited to the number of bays that you have in the device. Um, you can plug in like external USB and eSATA devices that don't show up as part of that volume but are network accessible once you plugged in, but you are limited in that sense. Then we have expandable units, like the units behind us, that are either two bay units expandable out to seven, five bay units expandable out to 15, eight out to 18, and on and on. So. Uh, those units, especially if you're a media junkie like myself, I never, never want to have to touch a DVD again. I want to rip all of my content and, you know, just be able to stream it whenever I want it, because Netflix loses things. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would personally, personally want to start with either the 1512 plus or the 1513 plus. If money were no object, I would want the DS1813 Plus because even though I have no need for four NICs, I, it's there and... 
It's there and you just have to get it because it's there. I, I techno lust. It, it's real. I, I, I mean, it's so true. Tell me, tell me a little bit about the software before we get too geeky for people. Okay. The software is going, our software is very robust and very extensible already. We're about to roll out the public beta of our next disk station manager operating system. This is that operating system that's unified across our entire product platform. DSM-5, I mean, in a real sense, and I get hair, raised hairs, is going to be a, a totally ground, groundbreaking launch for us. It's, well, Okay, so network attached storage is, in so many ways, is, has a level of friction because it is an advanced class of storage. So there's a level of user accessibility that it, that goes beyond the average user. That's why we we start our marketing towards enthusiasts and prosumers uh, because it is more hands-on. Now in DSM five, we've had a we've had a background function called. Uh, Quick Connect that had made it possible to access certain files like uh, audio and photographs remotely without any port configuration. In DSM-5, that Quick Connect feature is now in, it's now the entire operating system is incorporated into it. So when you install DSM-5, you're invited to either create or import an existing uh, Quick Connect ID, create a password, and then by the time you have a volume created, all of your content is available remotely without any port for configuration, without any route, route config, router configuration at all. So, I mean, from where I stand, that's about as close to plug and play as NAS is ever going to get. I mean, it extends across our mobile applications, it extends across all levels of the, the disk station manager operation, operating system, including surveillance station. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to open up the, the range of users tremendously for us. That's so exciting. Anything that makes it easier for a consumer, especially when it comes to things like safe storage, is great. That's very exciting. Oh yeah, well, it definitely gives people a place to start. I mean, and one thing I would say, so in, in the next couple of weeks when we do roll out the public beta, the live, um, the live demo of our operating system that lives on Synology.com, uh, we'll switch over to DSM-5 so users will be able to play with the interface without having to buy anything. Give them a sense of how usable it is. They can go into the package center and see how they can build their disk station out to be a web host, to be a WordPress blog, to be an iTunes server, a media server, a voice over IP server, uh, however they want to make their disk station their own. That's so cool. I'm so excited to check it out myself. Yeah, these things are awesome. I definitely recommend them myself just because, you know, they're, they're simple and they're strong and they're hardcore. So, Thad, where can people find more information? Certainly. Well, you can find more at Synology.com. That's S-Y-N-O-L-O-G-Y. We're also on Twitter at Synology and also Facebook at slash Synology. Yeah. And yeah, we'll have a lot more to show as the weeks roll out. So you know, keep your eyes out for the DSM-5 beta. We'd love people to beta test it. The three most active testers will win new disk stations of their own. So please, we want to make this a kick-ass launch. <laughs> That's great. I like the idea of this. I'm going to be one of those three. Watch <laughs> out. Watch out, world. <laughs> that, thank you so much. Oh, it was a pleasure you, to speak with you, and I'm sure I'll see you at the next convention. Wonderful. I hope so. It's been, it's been a pleasure, right? <laughs> if you want to find more information about Synology and CES, you can go to revision3.com slash CES2014. Thanks once again to Toyota for sponsoring our CES coverage.